guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. Now, I've been kind of liberal with maxing epics lately. In fact, I think I've maxed like about 20 epics since uh, PL15 dropped. So pretty crazy. Uh, I've had a lot of ultra fuse to be fair, because obviously we did like the big 10 mil opening and we got a lot of ultra rares from that. And then I spent like what, 40,000 gold or something. I think it was like 70,000. I can't remember how much gold I had, but you know, there was a lot of ultra rares from that as well. So I was really, really, really liberal with maxing epics. I was like, oh, you're gonna get max. You're gonna get max. You're gonna max. So I wanted to return to, you know, have a brief look at what my maxed epic collection looks like today. So so I have 110 fully upgraded epics, um, 28 are German, 38 are American, 19 are British, 10 are Japanese, uh, 3 are Italian, so at least it's gone up, you know, triple because, you know, I had like one max epic Italian car for like the longest time, uh, 4 are French, 3 are Swedish, 4 are Dutch, 1 finally you've got an Austrian max, mainly because the super light went legendary, so I went on and maxed a, a KTM instead, also I will talk about what cars I used to max with tokens and what cars I max with, you know, legit just like ultra rare. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. I mean, the biggest, you know, thing over here are the two Opal Corsas. Now, one Opal Corsa, I max with tokens. The other Opal Corsa, I max straight up. Like I maxed it straight up with just ultra rares because I want to stay relevant in clubs and front wheel driving clubs is, you know, super, super frequent. And there's always going to be at least one off-road tracking clubs every day 100% chance and I was like okay I want to remain relevant in clubs I'm gonna have to max the Opal Corsa so I maxed two of them uh, and yeah I've been you know getting easy MVPs with, the, with these two bad boys uh, I've been racing them a lot I mean this one 3312 races and this one's probably in the thousands as well oh, only 435 okay well I decided to go max one of the newer ones I guess uh, another one is the Caterham 7270 to be fair even with that handling upgrade I've not used it too much I, I feel like I get the most value out of this car in the standard tire daily and that happens twice a month so every two weeks or so but outside of that um i don't get a lot of value from the caterham like i don't know man i just i don't see myself using it that often in clubs as i thought i would be but the opal course is done and dusted every time man the first three epics that you see over here it's really nice to see that i only have two max rq65s i used to have a lot more but a lot of them went down to ultra and i got my tokens back which is nice um so all these that you see here were max for tri-series purposes uh this was for the yesco this was for the bugatti chiron sport and this one was for some kind of owner's challenge i'm kind of happy i maxed this though because the main thing that this comp that that was competing with the main car that this was competing with was the lancer evo 4 that used to be an ultra rare but now that the lancer evo 4 is in my opinion way too high up in the epic ranks this car has gone up in value because its main competitor isn't really competing in its you know niche anymore now all it races against are just four wheel drives Subarus where it is far better at because it's got a way lower 0 to 60 so the Infiniti Q50 is actually a pretty good car now considering that the Evo 4 and the Evo 1 have all gone up like significantly in our Q. Um, this mode used to be ultra rare. Defender was because of the Chiron. Murray, really good car. One of the best RQ65s in the game and now it's not anymore. It's now one of the best RQ66 uh, in the game. 4 wheel drive, a super low 0 to 60 and really good handling. Really happy with that car. Um, everything that you see down here is mainly because of a tri-series the mercedes-benz c12 this one once again i believe was for the peugeot t16 um but at the same time i'm not gonna say that this was for a tri-series obviously the fact that the tri-series is going on and this was a car that you could have used uh definitely was a motivation but at the same time you know it had 85 mra it had 99 handling it was a mercedes and i was kind of off running off that high uh of you know oh world expo new update i wanted to max it anyway this one i maxed with ultra rares and i would say that this one was more of like a passion project more than I had to max it for like a prize car you know it was just a cool car I like Mercedes I don't have a lot of World Expo Mercedes cars so especially on the higher end I feel like this is actually the, actually the only one so I really wanted to honor it and I love cars that handle man I love cars that handle. it's the same thing with the SVT I don't think I really max this for anything I think I maxed it just because it was cool just because it had 99 handling a lot of these cars you know uh, lower RQ 99 handling you know like the Peugeot the Mercedes the Ford um, the Acura HSC these are 
are all cards that I kind of want to just max for fun. Uh, DBS Carbon Black Edition, if I remember correctly, uh, I maxed it for In the Shadows or something like that. Uh, no, it wasn't In the Shadows. It was useful for In the Shadows, but I maxed it before that. I maxed it because Aston Martin was new at the time. This car is very, very old. I've had it for 957 days. My goodness. Um, it got a nice little, you know, MRA buff, which I really appreciate. Um, so it kind of stayed in that low RQ67 range. If not, I think it would have gone down to like an RQ64. Um, so we got a little MRA buff. Really happy to see that. So it kind of just stays in that rank. Uh, what else do we have over here though? The SVT Raptor. I think I have two of these, but I have one max. This car is an absolute OG. 1,713 days old with 6,414 races. I got to say though, the win ratio is not very good. And I can attest to this. The main thing about the SVT Raptor is... It kind of just fell out of relevancy, you know what I mean? A bunch of better cars just came into the niche. The Colorado, especially, I mean, used to be ultra rare, but now the Colorado is epic. Uh, but still, you know, it's, it's it handles better. Um, you have a better Raptor to use, the Ram Rebel TRX. So, yeah, the SVT Raptor, it still provides some value, but definitely not near as much as it used to. Uh, BMW 335D used to be an ultra rare, not much about that. Phaeton also was for a prize car. Um, this one was for clubs anything front wheel drive and max because front wheel drive is not my niche i don't like front wheel drive but i like saloons and this is a saloon or at least it, it's categorized as a saloon so it it was a, a mitch uh mitch mitch mix and match kind of situation like oh there's some things i like about it some things i don't like about it the thing is i specialize in saloons so if you see a saloon that's max it's probably because of that cause but i don't really like front wheel drive but because the pr uh, primera as well as the laguna as you will see later are the best front wheel drive epics and the best front wheel drives in general i needed that for clubs and that's why they're maxed out bristol fighter uh is a car that i've been using a lot surprisingly um well actually i guess it shouldn't be surprisingly i blossom choice it for a reason it's the lamborghini kuntash uh for the epic category it's got a ridiculously high top speed uh especially when you don't count prize cars uh it's the best of the bunch it's got a low zero to 60 and amazing mra as you can see i've used it a decent amount 98 races out of 35 days with a win ratio of 74 percent so i I use it about, you know, three times per day, something like that. Uh, Laguna, I use this car very, very often. CLK DTM is a car that I like a lot. I think it got a handling buff. It used to be 3188, and now it's like 3190 or something like that, which would be, which would make it a pretty decent car, to be fair, for, you know, a fast circuit at 233. It would be like 3.8 three maybe 3.293 but at the end of the day this is a drag spec car uh through and through i have it in 996 it's got the mra it actually beats the hellcats uh so it's really really strong um unless it got an mra nerf uh you know somewhere during pl15 i don't know i haven't used this car since pl15 to be fair but you know it's like a 2000s hellcat and none of the hellcats are 2000 so this is a very useful car um nancia 037 obviously i had to max one it was like mandatory honestly thinking about maxing the second one as well still a very very useful car um i got my uh Friday headlight army of course i got two of these and i also have the gt3 as we saw earlier over here i love myself a Friday headlight i got two viper srt 10s those were both for tri-series purposes and we have the charger juice which i freaking love the car as well uh we have the sidewinder and then we start off with the three hellcats the three green hellcats out of the six that i have in total uh one is drag spec with 2.90 to 60 and 89 handling where else the other two are 233 uh the main reason why they're 233 is i think it was for silver screen no it was definitely for silver screen that's why they were maxed out that way once again if you have any questions for my epics let me know down in the question below i'd be happy to help you uh especially if you want to know like how useful i think the car is or what upgrade i put it in uh the vanquish volante is kind of like an expensive version of the bristol fighter this was the car that i used to use before i had the bristol fighter because it's british and it's got a high top speed uh of 203 it also has a low 0 to 60 of 3.2 seconds and the mri is okay it's like 88 but honestly the bristol fighter is just better in every way now um it's got the better mri it's got the better top speed and the 0 to 60 is really similar i'd use the bristol fighter any day of the week and the main thing i would say the x factor of the bristol fighter is is one of those cars where you don't expect it to have traction control and abs but it does it looks like it doesn't have it 
but it does um so yeah the vanquish volante is kind of irrelevant honestly uh it wasn't very relevant before the bristol fighter but now with the bristol fighter i like oh no man uh volkswagen w12 roadster a car that a lot of people say it's good because it's got good mra blah 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 but as you can see over here like this isn't really good pedigree you know the fact that i've had it for more days than races is a telltale sign that this is a car that i don't use very often and a win ratio of 76 percent is also kind of bad the main rule of thumb is this, like if I think it's a good car, the chances are I would have raced it more times than days that I've owned it. SRT Hellcat wide body, I feel like it's close. Um, okay, so yeah, it is close, uh, but there is more races than days I've owned it and a really good win ratio of 90% as well. Uh, Ram Rebel, rest in peace. Uh, this is a car that used to be so good and because of its nerf, uh, the uh, or because of the other Raptor's buff, uh, the other Raptor is better than the TRX and everything now. I know that this car has like 95 MRA, but like who the hell freaking cares dude like i'm not looking for a dragster i'm looking for an off-road car that can you know do the twisty road the twisty circuit the motocross not the drags no all right moving on now uh we have my army of viper gtsr concepts the cyclone as well amazing car this one uh one of my biggest regrets was when i was new to the game i had two cyclones and i had one max and i was like oh since i have one max i don't need to max my second one what a mistake that was because i fused away my second cyclone i've never got one since and this is a car that is so damn useful it handles well has a good 0 to 60 um it's got high ground clearance four wheel drive standard tires it's also light uh, especially for a pickup truck but when you think about it most cars that are four wheel drive and standard tires are saloons they're usually luxury cars luxury saloons and they're very heavy they're closer to two tons this being 1592 kilograms is actually light for its category um we have two bmw m3 cs's which is still my go-to like you know saloon car that handles well but but that is mainly because I don't have the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Um, if I had the Giulia, this wouldn't be a car that I'd be using anymore. The Giulia is better in every way. But the M3 CS, man. I mean, I love this car through and through. You know, I've, I've had this one. Uh, okay, this one isn't very good because, you know, I've had it for more days than I've raced it. But this one, I've definitely had it for more races. Uh, yeah, there you go. Three times. 3,656 races. Uh, and I've only had it for 1,155 days. The only reason why this one has... Uh, less races is because this car has been stock for the longest time i only recently maxed out a second one because of how much uh use uh usefulness or value i got from this car so you know it's gonna it's gonna catch up to the days for sure for sure um ultima can am what a great car this has been for me i got this from my elite pack and as you can see 44 days and i've raced it 322 times oh my god i am actually kind of shook right now i didn't even expect to it that i raced at this much i thought it was gonna be like 250 or something like that but yeah a win ratio of 93 percent i mean by grade standards that's an a 93 percent is an a like this is really really good it's also won me a prize car now it's won me the nissan uh, gt 500 so uh really really good stuff this is an og one of my oldest epics in the garage got a handling nerf so it used to be 99 now 97 unfortunately a uh, pretty bad win ratio to be fair but it's a very old car i've had it for 1571 days and I'll never forget that this car had probably my biggest high or one of my biggest highs and one of my biggest lows uh it won me uh the porsche 918 on the first time and i've already maxed my porsche 918 uh, thanks to tokens uh and then the second one is that the, the bad one is that it lost uh it was in my hand when i lost to the camaro z 11 le when i got like 11th or something like that i think it was 9th or something ah, i can't remember anymore uh it was too long ago this one also was a massive disappointment uh everyone knows that i have this 969 and i hate it i hate every moment of it i wish i could change it but i can't and it's killing me this one too is i think three two three this one's also very old man like all these like th th this is pain this is pain 1372 days uh this one as well i feel like every time i talk about epics i talk about these three these three are absolutely painful man absolutely painful i've never unpacked this car since and it's kind of sad um i really want to make amends i have a second portion i live in carrera and maybe i will get a second one two three three the only reason is i don't really 
really see a need to max the second one right now. Uh, CC100, uh, one of my best epics back before PL15. Uh, I've had it, you know, almost 2,000 races in less than 1,000 days, so I've raced it about two times per day, something like that. Um, picking the pair has got a massive, 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 what was that voice crack? Massive uh, buff, uh, you know, 194 for a top speed. I have less races than Dazed Own because mainly it's the fact that it's an all-surface tire car. If it's an all-surface tire car, I'm not going to use it too often. That's kind of just the fact of the matter because off-road tire cars are just so much more useful. But one day, this car will be so damn useful. My only issue now is that this is a, a an outright drag spec car, but I went 969. So if I do get a second peeking to Paris with that top freaking speed, dog, like, I gotta drag spec that. And we'll also be a sub-second, a sub-4 seconds here to 60, which I like. Uh, Emerge E. I gotta max another Emerge E, to be honest. I'm currently working on my DS Numero 9. So maybe after DS Numero 9, I'll max my second Emerge E. This thing is so insane now. With that MRA, with that 0 to 60, with that handling, um, uh, with that semi lightweight, it's a ridiculously strong car. The only thing bringing it down is the top speed, and I don't care about that. Because if this was a quarter mile, if this was the Tokyo Drag, this, that would be sufficient top speed to be a good dragster. I don't care. This thing is so strong. I'm so happy to have three of them. Uh, the Ford Mustang GT4, still a very useful car. Uh, Durango as well is okay. And of course, I have my army of SRT Hellcats. I have two drag spec at the 2.80 to 60, and I have two uh, uh, 699 or twisty spec with the 93 handling and the 2.90 to 60. This car got a small nerf, so 3.198. I think it used to be like 2.998 or 3.098 or something like that. Uh, small nerf doesn't matter. The Lingenfelter got buffed, and I want to max the second Lingenfel uh, Lingenfelter so bad. Uh, Caterham CSR as well. This got a massive upgrade. Uh, the, the stats stayed about the same, 2.695. I, I don't know why this got a massive upgrade. Maybe because of MRA. It has to be, right? Because... 2695, nothing much has changed there. Actually, not a massive upgrade. I think it used to be RQ75. <laughs> I think it went up to 76. That was it. Uh, this car, I've, been, I've used this a lot. It's got 69 in the car plate, which is amazing as well. This was a race in max. Only had it for 21 days, and I've already raced it 109 times. Won me a prize car as well. 3.20 to 60 and 100 handling. Won me two prize cars, actually. Uh, it won me back to back prize cars, actually. The Pug T16 as well as the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the Nissan. So that's actually pretty, not, pretty nice. Uh, almost at pretty pong. But I was like, you know what? We don't need to say that anymore. Uh, GT40 race car. I mean, this one was because I'm an, an American specialist, right? I, I don't use it very often. 86 races, 269. I, I only use this when there's a test bowl. That's it. If there's a test bowl, I use it. Because 222 top speed. The only thing beating this is the Yellowbird. Um, the Resvani Beast Alphas. Both of these were for the first prize car, which was the Donk. Uh, I do use them from time to time. I gotta say, though, a huge Achilles heel for the Resvani beast alpha is the top speed the fact that it's you know operating as a high-end ultra in the rq78 range and it can't hit 200 top speed 200 miles per hour for a top speed is definitely bringing it down um you know when you're an rq78 kind of car 79 anything above 76 i'm i'm gonna need 200 miles per hour from you okay i know you got mra i know you got a low zero to 60 but this would be such a better car if it had 210 top speed and like 87 handling it would be so much better if that was the case so yeah unfortunately like this is a bit of a fast circuit kind of car so i tend to use the 699 version a little bit more of that 3095 and i kind of only use it on the fast circuit another good thing about the beast alpha is that it's ridiculously light so um it is going to bring some value on the twistier stuff mainly because of how light it is um this was an og first ever epic i ever pulled from a ceramic pack so yeah 1700 and 84 days old this BMW 740D. Uh, loads is Exige Cup 430 as well. Uh, 182 miles per hour, uh, 3.0, and 101 handling with performance tires. Most, most epics that go over 100 handling of slick tires. So this one's very impressive. Still, you know, not the best in the game. I'd rather use the KTM. And of course, the Cadillac ATS-V. This is the best City Streets medium epic in the game now. 98 handling, 3.20 to 60, and medium ground clearance. Say no more. That is an insta max. This was the first car that I maxed out with tokens. Uh, I also maxed out the Exige 430 with tokens. So those were two with tokens. The Lancia was with tokens. And I think there was one of the Lotus that I skipped through because I was talking about the Cyclone that I forgot to talk about the G. 
GT430. This was with tokens as well, because you're telling me that this is a car of 100 handling performance tires, uh, a low 0 to 60, all for RQ74. Oh, I'm sold, buddy. That That is a fantastic bargain. Uh, on the top end here, uh, we have the Suzuki Hayabusa. Um, you know, it's got a decent MRA, very lightweight car coming in at under half a ton, 495 kilograms. Uh, I'm pretty sure some people can deadlift that, right? Right? Uh, 3.20 to 60 and 900 handling. I'm sure some someone someone has to. I can bench 200 pounds, and I literally am a stick um, with, with, with abs. But I am a stick. My arms aren't that big, so I'm sure people out there can deadlift this. Um, maybe 400 pounds, maybe 495. It's like pushing it a little bit. Uh, double eye pace as well. I got two max eye paces. Um, actually, the eye pace, both of them as well, uh, are 233. Three. Uh, they are specialists in their own right. Um, I think the eye pace situation was, I think this was the first epic I maxed. Without tokens, this was when my tokens were still bugged. I maxed it out. One of the first epics I maxed after PL15, I maxed it out of Ultra Rares. I know that for sure. KTM Expo, this one was with tokens to be fair. I have a little bit of tokens left over here, 12. Ooh. Uh, Roof CTR as well, finally maxes out. This was a car, the Yellow Bird has been a car that people have been asking me to max forever. Um, finally did it. And honestly, I don't use it that much. I really don't. Um, you know, 186 races, 849 days. I really don't use it that much. A win ratio of 78% as well. I kind to use it only to lose by legendaries by 50%. And the last two, uh, I mean, I guess we can talk about the JPE and the CT6 real quick, but the last two would be the BMW. I got this uh, because I wanted to win the Urus. Uh, and of course, the Audi R8. I think this is my newest maxed out car. Um, this is the best hybrid in the game, in my opinion. 3.0, 189 MRA uh, and 208 top speed. Yeah, say no more. I don't really like Audis, but this thing was the cover. This is the cover boy of the entire update. This thing is ridiculously strong. Let's be real. Um, so yeah, let's move on to cars that I was working on. Fuse completed. No, that's the Porsche. Can be fused, I think. Yeah, so I'm working on the Citroen DS Numero 9. Right now, the handling is max. Weight and engine to go. So let's just put in another upgrade over here. What should we get rid of? Maybe a Subaru GT. I have that max already. Get rid of an Aston Martin. Why not? Got a bunch of those. Uh, I have like 100 fuse ultra air. So I, I'm, I'm a little like apprehensive on what to use and what not to use. Um, I have two of the Caymans max. I don't think I need five. So we'll get rid of one of those as well. And we'll put another upgrade in the DS Numero 9. So this will be the next uh, out, uh, epic that I'm definitely going to max. DS Numero 9 is going to be number 111. I think the one after that might be an Emerge, like I said earlier. I mean, this is kind of the list, right? It could be an Emerge. Uh, it could be this Forester. I kind of want to just finish it. It's like, what, two upgrades away? Um, or, or maybe the Audi SQ7. Who knows? But anyway, guys, that is my entire maxed epic collection. I am very happy with it. Let me know if you have any, uh, you know, questions below. Below. But I have a question for you to be fair comment down below what you what your favorite max epic in your garage is But anyway guys hope you guys have a great day and stay safe wash your hands and blossom out peace Bro this song just makes me so happy <laughs> me too Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox, back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox, back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair, don't care, 